Before you start taking apart your equipment and troubleshooting it, here's one simple trick that may save you a lot of time. Many of you may already know this, but it helps to have a little bit of a reminder. When you're tinkering around with your lawn equipment and your power tools, um, you should always uh, start with the simplest th solution first. And just to give you an example, I have a really expensive Honda uh, weed whacker uh, trimmer. It's uh, the HT35, I think. Uh, it cost me like 400 bucks, way too much. But I, ha I was uh, using it the other day and it, it worked so far this season. And then uh, last week it, it would start and it would only stay on if I had it revved at full max. The minute I let it idle, it conked out. And I'm like wondering why, why that was. And I was about, I took it, I started taking it apart. I looked at the air filter and I started, I was about to take it apart a lot. And I'm like, wait a minute, let me try fresh fuel first. I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna take it outside tomorrow and you can, we'll, we'll do a little test. Because stale fuel causes more problems than you can possibly be, believe. So we're gonna see before I take this thing apart, if fresh fuel, and I'll throw a little stabilizer in there to boost it up. We'll see if that solves the problem. Um, okay, so next scene, we're, we're gonna be outside with fresh gas. Okay, here's the, uh, the string trimmer now. I added fresh fuel and watch what happens. You ready? I'm gonna start it up and rev it really high and then I'm gonna let my hand off the accelerator and watch what happens. It conks out. It wasn't fresh fuel. I let it run at high revs for about a minute or two. Got the machine all hot. I checked the spark plug, everything okay. I think the idle is too low and there's gonna be a little a switch here. I'm gonna show you if it works. That I'm gonna tighten, I'm gonna push this little throttle screw here. I'll show you where it is in a minute. This needs to go in more, a couple notches. Now it should stay started, you ready? This thing here. You want to lower it. So that was it. It was throttle adjust or idle adjustment, which basically just you push the screw in and it raises the, uh, the throttle. I'll show you here. This is the screw right there. Ne next to the hole is a little screw. You screw that clockwise until the idle is high enough where it's not spinning the head back there, but it doesn't shut off. So that's it.